She sees a bit. Oh, I've like literally had a lovely little setup down here and I've just knocked everything over. Hi guys, Sarah, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an empties video for April. Can you believe a whole month has gone past? It's crazy. So I'm quite impressed, if I do say so, by the amount of empties I've got. I think it's because I've really honed in in lockdown as like a challenge to get through as much stuff that's kind of been sitting around kind of idling by so um hold tight i'm gonna show you some things i'm gonna start off with some homeware homeware don't know why i said it like that that's weird homeware so the first thing is three candles so we have three so the first one i'm going to show you i love how like this is this this is a by primark and it is wild mint and sage scented candle and it was 250 I'm absolutely 150 million percent keeping this glass container. I might put a succulent in it or something like that since I've got loads of them. It smells like Christmas. I mean, I only bought like start of the year, but it smells like like a fresh, sexy Christmas man. Something like that to describe it. It's really nice. It's not massively strong when it's lit. Like you have to have it burnt at least half of it to fill a room. But for 250, and it's a nice little aesthetic pot. It's pretty good. So. I would probably buy this again just because it's 2 50 um, Another one, that's it, it's a small one. And this is the Inner Showing Candles Irish Turf Fire. And like I've literally like scraped the barrel of this. My mum got me this. I love Island, um, I love Gun Island, and I love the um the smell of peat and damp and fires and why is my battery running out? One second. Back in the room. Okay, so yeah. This just reminds me of being in Ireland and it's an eco soy wax candle. It is hand poured in Malinhead in Donegal. It's just the bomb. And it for a little candle, it was strong. So ma'am, I'll have another two, three, please. It's really good. In a show on candles, recommend. If I can find a, an online store page, I will buy more. And the last one from the candles, is this one here, and this is from Rituals. This is the Black Oud candle from the private collections. And I actually bought this in Berlin, Germany. It smells incredible. Like when you smell it, it smells really, really good. Like the smell of Oud's lovely. And a funny story, because it wouldn't be a video without a story with me. The first time I'd ever seen or heard of Rituals was in London and I was with um, a friend and they have like amazing room sprays. And I was like, oh my god, Oud, I'm obsessed with Oud. So I was like, ooh, Oud, 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 I'm going to get this room spray. And I got it home and I was spraying it and I was like, this doesn't smell like Oud. This doesn't smell like, it smells really good, but it doesn't smell like Oud. And it turns out I bought a wild fig room spray and the room spray is incredible. It's like a really highly intense, fragranced room spray. Um, it lingers for days. So if you are interested in a room spray, it come in like a a big bottle. I highly recommend them. I still got some left over from like two years ago because I don't spray it that often because it is really strong. This however was about, I think it was about, I want to say about 27, 28 euros, something on that line. And the smell overall when burnt is very weak. So I wouldn't buy this again. It's a shame because like I love the packaging. I might keep this one as well and use this as a plant pot because it's quite cute. But in terms of like the scent, like filling the room, I've mainly burnt this in this room, and this room is quite small in comparison to my living room, which this little candle has been in, and it did not fill it um, unless it'd been on for like hours and hours and hours. So for the price value, I it's quite a letdown, but the room sprays are amazing. So maybe next time I go to a Rituals, um, I would get a room spray in this smell. God, anything oud. Also, a nice thing I like about Rituals is that um, if you buy like a certain amount of things, they might like tempt you by saying like spend an extra five pounds and you get like a free little gift set and I'm always down for spending extra money to get free stuff so <laughs> wouldn't get that one again but I do like rituals as a kind of a company in the smells and stuff like that we're talking about smellies we're going to go into some toiletries they're pretty much the main thing in here is always going to be toiletries with a small bit of makeup and whatever the first thing is I'm going to talk about are these shower yeah, uh, bubble baths, sorry, these bubble baths from Imperial Leather. Now I bought these just over four weeks ago, just before lockdown happened. 
Um, and my mum said, why do you need four bottles of bubble bath when you A, work at Lush and B, you're going into lockdown? And I was like, well, because I met him going into lockdown tomorrow, like the next day, and not have a chance to buy any. She was like, oh, well, yeah, that's a good point. These are only a pound each. I think two of them might have been 89 pence from Bean and Bargains. I've got Polynesian Paradise and Sweet Peony. We've got Moroccan Sunset, uh, Golden Organ Oil. We've got Enchanted Escape and Midnight Orchid. And we've got, I think I just bought this for the packaging, Mallow Amazing, limited edition, with bur bursting with bubbles, full malicious marshmallow. So I'm gonna have a smell, because I know that you guys, some of my friends, love it when I sniff an empty bottle. So I think Polynesian Paradise, very floral, very sweet floral and kind of like a pampery relaxing smell. Enchanted Escape Midnight Orchid. This one's a bit more fruity. You would almost feel like it's a bit plummy. If you remember like um, the sugar plum, it's not the same, but the sugar plum scent from Body Shop. It's online with that. Not the same, but similar. And then you've got the um, Moroccan Sunset with Organile. And this is kind of got a citrusy amber kind of smell to it, it's nice. And then you've got Mallow Maison, which is just sweet, like sugar. Um, so I think my top two is um, Polynesian Paradise and Mallow Maison. This one is my favorite of all. It's like super sweet and sugary and just delicious. So if you do like sweety kind of smells, Mallow Maison is good. And I think for a pound for 500 mils, you can't go wrong, can you really? Um, so really, really lovely. And then more toiletries. I found another candle. We'll finish off the candle segment. Uh, this is the other candle. It is from Avon. It is Aromatherapy Calm. Essential oils and Chinese eucalyptus. Anything with eucalyptus in, love it. Not a super strong smell. You can smell it once it's got going and once it's burning, but as an overall, it's, it's quite mild in scent. So if you do like the idea of a scented candle but nothing too strong, that's what to go for because it is nice but it's nothing too overpowering. Segway in the same smell, which is a room spray. And this is a freaking bomb. This is so good. This is the nicest smell ever. And obviously Chinese eucalyptus and mint essential oils, aromatherapy. And now it says body mist. But my God, I just spray that all over my bed sheets and it just knocks me out. It's so good. And when you've got the tiniest little, oh, don't get it. Oh, don't get it. It's so good, and I think it's like four pounds, something like that. Really, really lovely, and I will absolutely purchase it again because it's so good. So, so good. Okay, back to where we were. Essential things hand wash. So, Rose and Peony fragrance hand wash. Alex chose this one from Sainsbury's. Can I smell what it smells like? Yeah, it smells kind of like a posh. Older lady, that's the only way I can describe it. Just what my boyfriend is, a posh older lady. It's currently free, it's got the Leaping Bunny on there as well. It's a 500ml bottle. It lasted ages, it lasted a really, really long time. I don't know how much it cost because he bought it. I would probably get that again because it smells really nice. And the other one that I've got here is from Avon. It's Avon Senses. It's um, Zen, which is Mandarin and Jasmine. This didn't last as long, but it is half the size and it is a pound. And it's just really fresh citrusy smell, nice and light and uplifting. With everything that's going on, washing your hands, key. We have also finished a couple of bars of soap. So we finished off an aubergine soap and a peachy soap from Lush. They've got lots of cocoa butter in there. And I was actually really surprised at how long, especially the aubergine lasted. Because it's it doesn't look like it would last very long, but it does. And it's it smells so good. It's like sherbet, sherbet, hmm, sherbet dip dab. It, it's if the aubergine is the same scent family. I'll put a picture here of the aubergine of uh, 29 High Street, which is like all Lushes mixed together. So you know when you walk past the Lush and you can smell Lush, that's what it smells like. And then peachy is like, kind of like those peach sweets. That's the only way I can describe it, like peach sweets. And again, lasted a really, really long time. So really, really impressed with those. Then, speaking of hands and hand wash, my hands are getting really dry. And during the last month, I have managed to go through three hand lotions. I've gone through the Body Shop Almond, hand lotion, an Avon Enchant hand lotion, and this cute little aerial one that my friend Vera got me. Lovely, they all smell slightly different. This one 
was quite fragrant. Uh, that one soaked in really well, so if you like a hand lotion that's fragrant and soaks in really quickly, that's a lovely one. The almond one was lovely and again soaked in really, really. In fact, to be fair, all three of them. And this one here has got candle all over it and it's like crumbing everywhere. They all soaked in quite well, but this one in particular soaked in really fast. So if you want a hand lotion that soaks in really, really quickly, this is the one to go for. Um, and they all vary in price. I don't know how much the, the Aerial one is because I've got it as a gift. But I think these are about three or four pounds from Body Shop, and I think this is about two or three pounds from Avon. I've like literally had a lovely little setup down here, and I've just knocked everything over. I'm going to show you some stuff that I got from Lush. Ah, I'm going to Okay, potted things that I have gone through, I'm going to show you. Uh, things that I've gone through that are naked, other than the two soaps, I have gone through. Ooh, quite a few, quite a few bath bombs. So flight. Rose Butterfly, Raw, and then I've got some through some bubble bars such as Ladybird, the little mushroom, sunny side. So I've, I've kind of had some nice indulgent baths too. Oh, I got through a Mina Masoma shower oil and a Easy Peeler body scrub. So I knew I'd, I knew I'd finish off some things. So pots. I'm gonna say right now that some of these look tatty, and that is because I store things on top of them when I use them. But the first thing is Angels on Bare Skin, and that's got a little bit of rust on there from some shaving foam. I absolutely love Angels on Bare Skin cleanser, but surprise, surprise, this pot didn't have Angels on Bare Skin. Oh no, 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 no. It actually had in, oh my god, I can still smell it, a turmeric roll cleanser, which you can only get from. The Liverpool Street and the Naked stores. My friend got me one of those at Christmas time and I stored it in the Angels on Better Skin. Turmeric Roll Cleanser is really brightening on the skin, so if your skin's feeling a bit dull, but you don't want anything too harsh, it's really, really lovely and it smells phenomenal. And please, Lush, please make something else in the same smell as Turmeric Roll because it smells really good. Another thing that I finished off, which it's taken me quite a while. I got this when I damaged my ankle two years ago off a friend to kind of like pick me up and to help with circulation, which is a pink peppermint foot lotion. I recently, I think it must have been about a week into lockdown, got keens on my feet, on my heels, like on the soles of my heels. And I think that's mainly down to doing DIY with no shoes on. And that DIY being sanding paint. And I think me walking around bare feet, my feet's been on top of the, the plaster and the paint stuff and it's, it's sucked on the moisture. And at one point on my left foot, it was really deeply cracked and it hurt a lot and I was limping. So using this in conjunction with another product, which I'm gonna show you in a second, has really helped heal those. It's still, I wouldn't say it's like broken cracked. Like my right foot started to get one, but then that's like, it's all smooth now, I think. Yeah, it's all smooth, which is great. My left foot has a few, what I like to call creases which could then turn into cracks, so I'm just keeping moisturising those I can. But really love this, it smells like an after aid, it's bright pink, lovely and moisturising and cooling as well, so if you do get hot tootsies, do recommend that one. And I think that's about £15 in Angels on Bare Skin and the Turmeric Roll there will be about £9. nine pounds. I finished, finally finished, my big pot of Masca Magna Minty Self Preserving. Really, really love this, so really good for breakouts and things like that. And the last thing in a pot that I finished which I can't believe, my friend Joe got me this for, was it my 30th birthday? It was for, or Christmas, but she got me a pot of one of the, my favorite smells of all time from Lush, which is the Comforter. She got me a pot of the Comforter body lotion, which it came from the kitchen. Now I know that when she bought this, the kitchen was long disbanded. So I know that she really went out of her way to get me this, which means a lot to me. And I actually finished it off um, over the weekend and I'm really sad that it's all gone. It just smells so good, like, Look, completely all gone. I'm gonna get that wash out before I take it back to the shop. But it's very lightweight, it soaks in really quick, it smells amazing. She says, but... oh, God. <laughs> um, okay, in fact, I can put these down here. Oh. <sighs> Why me? Okay, well, we're just gonna leave them there. Kind of segueing, I love seeing the word segueing on. I'm talking about um, pink peppermint. The other thing that I used was Heal Genius from Sub and Glory and I've honestly I've had this for ages. I got this I think in my first advent calendar from them in 2018 and again I've never had an issue with my feet. I've never had a problem with it so 
I've never really had the need to moisturize my feet. I've always been quite lucky with that. And then when this happened, I'm like slathering it on like twice a day, sometimes three times a day, because obviously with lockdown, we're not gonna do anything. Just to get that moisture in there, and it really has helped, and it smells really fresh. And if you can't see behind me, but I actually have a big one here, which I am using in, again, love that word, conjunction with another foot lotion from Avon. So I'm just kind of alternating with foot serum from um, Avon, which I'm just alternating between the two. I finished two bottles of the Clean On Me Mini shower gels. I've, the reason why I finished them were kind of pretty much almost finished anyway, and I have them turned upside down, and I've got like a, a pumpy one. So I've kind of just topped them up there. So I feel like that might be a bit cheating. Is it? Well, no, because I probably use the, the equivalent of that now in the shower, in the bath. And then the last thing from Soap and Glory is the Rush Shower Sensational Dry Shampoo. This one here with touch release for extra bursts of fragrance when you ruffle your hair. And this is in the original pink smell. So that lovely, sorry, it's not in the original pink smell is really nostalgic for me. This is, um, this makes your hair smell amazing. I don't think it's that great for actually combating grease on your hair you know like when you when you put dry shampoo on the whole point is to kind of make it last a little bit longer until you next wash it to absorb excess oils so i don't actually think it did much in the in the way of combating like oilness in my hair but it freaking made my hair smell amazing so what i would do is i would just literally just be like oh i'm just gonna waft it through if i wanted my hair to smell like oh and that's pretty much what I would do, then give it a little tussle through. But yeah, I do like, I love I love the idea of it. If it was a bit more, I don't want to say chalky, because obviously chalky then obviously leads to like white residue on the hair. But if it was a bit more kind of, well, powdery to absorb any excess oils, then I would buy that again. But I wouldn't buy it again, because there's better dry shampoos out there. I smell good and do the job. So sorry, Soap and Glory, because I do love Soap and Glory very, very much. Love the smell, but it didn't really do much for my hair. Oh, the Soap and Glory thing. <laughs> and it's the last thing from Soap and Glory, Tell a fib, and it is the Scrub 'em and Leave 'em Body Scrub. And I think I talked about this one in my in the last empties video about me using it then because I just started it and, and not being that fond of it, and I'm not that fond of it. I love the smell. It's um, I don't think it's original pink. I don't know what it's one of the other smells. I think it's more. Uh, it says floral and seductive, but they, they use the little pink beads, which I think I made up from wax, and then they use um, big chunks of coarse sea salt, but the sea salt is like a little bit flat and smooth, so it doesn't actually scrub. So like you, what you do is you start scrubbing your skin, and then all like the, the pink stuff is doing its job, and then you're just left with like this pile of salt in your hand that doesn't really do anything. So I just used to just like drop the salt that was left on my hands in the tub and then have to take another scoopful out to carry on. So I felt like I ended up using more of this per use, like per session, than what I would have a normal body scrub. So I wouldn't get that again. It smell, but I wouldn't get it again. Um, but you've got to try these things, haven't you? Go try them. And then out of this random basket, I have got, I've got some Lily Stafford buttercream, it's a Choco Lux buttercream treatment hair mask. And I got this in a set. I really enjoyed the smell of this. It's literally like putting chocolate on your hair. Like the smell is so strong and it makes your hair lovely and soft and shiny. But out of the other um, Lee Stafford hair mask that I got, that was probably the bottom one. The one that took me by surprise, which for some reason I don't have to hand unless it was in the last video, is the coconut one. Now I, again, not a coconut fan, but the smell was so good and I would buy the coconut one again. I have finally finished the Kangis Pak Elizaveka Milky Piggy Face Mask. And this is when Korean skincare, I bought this when Korean skincare really blew up in the UK a couple of years ago. That's how long I've had it. And it is gold. I did try and wash it, but it's like a gold colour and it dries white. It is sticky, but it's not like super, super sticky. It's a traditional face mask in which you just put it on, let it dry, um, and then you wash it off. It has a very strong alcohol scent to it with mixed in with like a fragrance because it's all in korean i have no idea what it does to my skin 
I don't even think the box that it came in explained what it was. And I think this was $12.99. And a lot of this stuff that I bought, this Korean skincare, came from TK Maxx. Because TK Maxx seemed to stock a lot of the Tony Moly, Eliza Vega, the um, Piggy Bubble Face Mask and the Hell Pore Mask, which I've still got in there. So if you want to see that face mask, I will absolutely do it. So just comment down below if you want to see the Eliza Vega um, Hell Pore Mask. I will absolutely do that. It was an okay face mask. I wouldn't buy it again. You get a lot for your money. You get an amount. It doesn't tell you. But it was a fair size. I think it was probably about three or four hundred mils for twelve ninety nine. So not too bad. Talking of face masks, I've got three more face masks here. No, two face masks. I've got the Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. I like the orange packaging. I don't know if you can see. I wish you could see the glow that I'm getting right through it here. This is obviously supposed to be like a brightening, energizing, radiance boosting mask. It was yellow and it had like little tiny seedy bits in it to give you a scrub. I didn't really feel a tinkle on there. I didn't really feel like anything really happened. So, and I think to buy this face mask full price, it's like 40 odd pounds. And I just remember seeing it being like, oh my God, that's a lot. So for 40 odd pounds, if, you, if you're a face mask, I need to see something, I need to feel something. So no, I wouldn't buy that again. And, and it's the same with the, the Glam Glow Thirsty Mood. I got my friend Jo who gave me the Comfort Body Lotion because I I do have kind of dry skin. She gave me a little tube of this. And, and whilst my skin did feel soft after this, it didn't feel like quenched as you would imagine a hydrating treatment would be. I don't think I would get the full one for that because I, I just didn't feel like it did anything. And I think, and again, Glam Glow masks are expensive. Speaking of Glam Glow, Glam Glow Moisture Trip, a little tiny sample. I got that with a Glam Glow set for Christmas. It has a kind of fresh smell and a kind of light green texture. Didn't really feel like it overly moisturised my face any more than a normal moisturiser. I and mean, when you see like Omega Rich Moisturiser and Moisture Trip, you think that it's going to be quite rich. But no, and it has no SPF in it as well. So if you were wanting something for a day cream, there's no SPF in there. I mean, if someone gave me this, I would use it, but I wouldn't buy a full size of it. And then last out of skincare, before we move over to makeup, I have the Body Shop Wild Organ Oil, Radiant Oil for hair and body with Community Fair Traded Organ Oil from Morocco. This smells so good. And I actually got this in TK Maxx for 6 99 I think it should have been about £13 for a 125ml bottle. Really love the smell of this. Like the way my skin felt, because it obviously with it being like a, an oil, it does soak nice and quickly. But the pump sucks like it gets st I'm not spraying because in case there's a little bit left in but like it like doesn't go all the way down smoothly it's like it jams and then if you have to go like if you have to tip it upside down to get like like the back of your legs it doesn't have like the technology in there to like spray upside down if you know what I mean and it Obviously with it being oily, your hands get slippy, so your fingers are sliding all over the place because the pump isn't very good. So, Body Shop, you need to work on your pump because it's not great. I mean, this technically isn't makeup, but it's linked with makeup, and that's um, isopropyl alcohol, a bottle of that. And I've just watched M -M 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 Mitchell do a little video about isopropyl alcohol. Now, I know he's probably like in a paid promotion from this company, but he, he did say, you know, like, it can like irritate the skin and things like that. So I probably, I'm not gonna buy this again. I probably will buy it from that company that they promoted because I've just signed up for their MUA discount scheme. So I have finished that. I mean, it was like five pounds for two bottles. And I think what he was saying was that normal isopropyl alcohol like this isn't designed for cosmetic grade like to be on the skin. So I'm gonna give the other one a go because I need something that can clean brushes on the spot before obviously they get like the weekly clean, which was, this was really handy with. And then last but not least, we have three little things. We've got a little, little tester of Givenchy Le Interdit fragrance and can I remember what this smells like? I can't remember what it smells like. I don't think I was wowed by it, so I probably wouldn't get it again. And then I've got here, now this is a bit of a controversial one for me because I've got two of these. I've got this one here, which is the KVD Vegan Beauty or Kat Von D Beauty, whatever you want to call it. Go big or go home as vegan mascara. I've got this one and I've got another one. This one here, my friend Vera got for me for my birthday um, and it came with part of a set with the Saint perfume. Now I've got to break it down. So I've got a full size here and I've got a mini. Got this mini and I really enjoyed it. It is a drier formula. 
that's the brush, to other mascaras. Really enjoyed it, so I thought, right, I'm gonna get some. What happened was, got this as a gift, but I also got one when I went to America. And I, there was a common theme, and I'm going on a tangent here, I just can't help myself, but there was a common theme with makeup stores in America that had no stock out, right? What kind of shop, right, has no stock? So I went into Morphe, wanted some Suva Hydroliners, none out. Stuffed very nice though. Went and restocked it and gave me what I needed. Goes into Sephora. The Kat Von D thing. And I, there was no mascara out. So I was like, oh god, okay. I was like, wait, well. Because I wanted to get, it's always a little bit cheaper when you go to America. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. Because it's a bit cheaper. Went up to the counter to pay and I was like, hey. Oh, actually, I think I need some um, mascara. Do you, do you, like, I couldn't see any of the Kat Von D stuff out. And she goes, oh, she goes, it's underneath. Like, underneath the display. As if to say, like, I could just go in there and get it. She was, again, very nice. She went over and got me one. But I was just like, there's a lot of staff in these stores that you think would be like checking stock and make, pulling things forward and making it look fussy and just not. So like, it just felt like a bit of an effort sometimes to, to find stuff in America in the makeup stores. Anyway, tangent aside, this mascara, upon, even, even this one that Vera gave me, did not apply the same as this one. I don't know what's going on, but like, it's just not the same. But I got used to it. Opened up the other one and almost instantly, and I did this on a live, my eyelashes all clumped together, like disgustingly. So I'm, I've actually got it to one side and I've got the box still and when lockdown's finished, I'm taking it into Cap One Day and I'm swapping it over for something else because it's just like, you know, it's 20 pound mascara and I just think it's just not on. <clears throat> okay, last thing that I've got to show you, oh no. Oh, I keep finding things. Second last thing to show you is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade 005. Like this concealer has a good absolute care and it was really cheap. I got this in Germany from um, Douglas, I think. Really, really good. I would get this again. And the last thing is Avon Clear Skin Pore and Shine Control 3 in 1 Facial Wipes. Nice. And that's all I've got to say about that, really. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the products that I've been talking about or anything like that, then let me know. Leave a little like, leave a little subscribe. Can you leave a little subscribe? Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share it, obviously. If you want to see how I did this, then check out my next video and it'll tell you all about this look and how you can achieve it if you want to. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.